Morning everyone, Adam Hughes, Ferguson, New Brunswick, into the great month of February. You know, uh, the Bible says, uh, there's a verse there that says, What does a profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Then it goes on to say, Or what shall a man exchange for his soul? What that's saying is, uh, we all get one thing in common. When we all pass on from this life, we all stand before God in judgment. So, it doesn't matter, small, group, small great what your occupation is, who you are, what your social status is. We all got one thing in common, whether we like it or not. It's it's We're all going to stand before God in judgment and give an account of our lives. Whether we accepted Jesus as our personal Savior or not, it's really going to matter where we spend eternity. So what happens when we die is we die. And a lot of people say, well, all, all that happens, Adam, is we die and we get put in the grave. And that is very... That's 100% true, but there's a soul that lives within us, and the soul comes out of the body after we pass on from this world, and uh, we all, and our soul lives on in eternity in one place or the other, either heaven or hell, and we stand before God in judgment the split second that we uh, pass away from this life, and God judges us. And if we're not ready to meet God, uh, it's... Uh, <clears throat> It's pretty paramount that uh, we'll be separated from God for God for eternity. See, Jesus Christ took care of that problem on the cross. He died for your sins and my sins so that we all could be uh, uh, forgiven and that we could all spend eternity with him and not have to be separated from him for eternity. It's the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. We all buy houses, cars. Some of us have children. We all make decisions, important decisions like that in life, but the, the most important decision I'll ever make in this life while you're here is whether you accept that Jesus Christ is your personal Savior or not. You know, I strongly believe the return of the Lord is soon because, I mean, this there's different plagues that's going with the locusts and it's, it's going into farmers' crops. They're eating all the vegetation. and I mean, it's, it's, it's biblical proportions. You look at coronavirus. I mean, it's, it's, it's another plague that's uh you know it's it's like as a uh, the bible that speaks about plagues and stuff it's uh it almost matches close to the bible biblical scriptures of what the bible says about plagues and stuff and and there's just so much going on wars and rumors of wars there's always somebody fighting over something and it's just i know these things have always have been but it's it's intensifying all the time it's not slowing down and the the day of the lord is at hand I don't know how much time we have left. I'm not sitting here predicting it. I'm not going to get into that foolishness because no man knows the day or the hour. Not even Jesus, only his Father God in heaven knows when, when the time is. Uh, it's short though. Jesus is coming. He loves you. Died on the cross for you. Not that So that none should perish. But uh, we all got one thing in common, folks. We're all going to stand before God and see my grandfather pass away. He was 84. I'm 38. <laughs> It just go. It just went to show me how fast we're here, then we're gone. We don't know. We could be taken out with sickness. We could t be taken out in uh, in anything. You know, some kind of an accident or anything can anything. Nobody's guaranteed tomorrow, so that's why we have to be right with God. You know, and uh, live your life, love the Lord, and uh, you know, make that choice and that decision. Anyway, a lot of people think it's foolish, it's it's irrelevant, you know. I wish, I actually don't wish I could tell you otherwise, because everlasting life with Jesus, eternal peace, uh, no more sickness, no more sorrow, the lion will lay down with the lamb, you know, mansions on high, and who, who, who in the right mind wants to stay behind here, and <laughs> And the, the way this world is going. But anyway, you make the choice. I just put it out there that the Bible says. And you make the choice. I can't make the choice for you. But Jesus loves you. Thanks for watching. Take care. And uh, be safe.